How's everybody doing today? Welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about Bass Masters Fishing 2022 and how to win all the events in the Bass Master Opens. So I think I can put you guys on one spot where you can fish the entire tournament. So let's get into some action. We're going to quickly go over some of these spots. I've covered some of these in the college series and some other hotspot videos. So let's start out with Toledo Bend. But wait, there's more. Today I'm going to show you some of my loadouts. So for fishing some of these tournaments like the total length and the multiple species events, it's very important to catch as many fish as you can for the total length. But also some of the tournaments require you to catch as many species as you can. So let's take a look at some of these loadouts. I'm going to go ahead and put on, let's see, the old Ned Bomb. The Ned Purple Cloud, that should catch some brim and some crappie. So the Jinko Lissig, the Lake Forks, and the 200 Series Spring Crawl Yellow. And of course, I'm going to throw in the Watermelon Candy and one of my gill, natural gillfish for the catfish. So let's get started with the total length at Toledo Bend. So I'm going to take you out to a different location than I did in the College Series. So let's take a quick boat ride out there and we'll get started fishing. All right, there's a nice little spot right along the shoreline by this very nice house over here. There's a bunch of grass. So within that grass, right on the edge of the grass, is just a hot spot loaded down with multiple species of fish. So if you watch some of my other total length tournaments, you know the best thing to catch is garfish. So they are long, skinny, they don't weigh much. You can get them in quick and they're like 30 to 50 inches long so you can't beat that in a total length tournament but when you start catching bass it's kind of hard to stop but anyway let's catch some more fish and we'll see how it did on this tournament so this wasn't my best tournament and i'll tell you what happened i thought i paused the game for several minutes while my wife was talking to me apparently i didn't so the clock was just running the whole time so one day maybe i'll try this event again i'd like to see if it's possible to get 900 to a thousand inches and i'm sure it is but you gotta really target some garfish some pike the catfish and striped bass are really long fish but they will take some time to get in but if you can catch them great as you can see by the numbers, I'm well ahead. So just get to this spot. I've won the tournament several times, refishing it several times in the same spot, and I've always come out well ahead of the competition. So for Toledo Bend Bass Only Competition, you can also use this spot. You can see early in the video, I caught some nice 12, 13 pound bass. You catch some 14, 15 pound bass here. Or if you want to watch the tournament on the College Series, I'll show another location where you can catch some great largemouth bass. All right, let's move on to Lake Guntersville Grand Slam and the Bass Open Series. So let's get out to the first little hot spot right across from the starting point. So just a short drive away, start looking over to your right. You'll see that white tree with the V-shape at the top. So a right coming up right here. So we're gonna fish right in front of that tree. There's also a great spot to the right where the grass hugs the shoreline. So right when that grass starts, you cast into that grass with the Jinkolistic Swim Bait. And I'm sure you're gonna come out with some bass. So a lot of people, including myself, had trouble with the Grand Slam because the small mouth, they just don't want to cooperate. 
So those smallmouth, they may chase that Jinko swim bait, but sometimes they just don't want to strike it. So try throwing the three inch or three and a half inch Lake Fork Special or the Gizzard Shad Rattle Trap. Now I fished these tournaments several times and there's been a couple of times where I did not catch a smallmouth, but I was still able to win it because my largemouth bass was like 14 pounds and I had a nice trophy spotted bass and it was enough weight to make the win. So let's head out to everybody's favorite river, St. John's. Crickets, crickets, anybody? Anybody got a hot spot for St. John's? All right, so let's take a good long five minute boat ride of actual time, guys. So that cuts down on your fishing time, but it's one of the only productive hot spots that you get to quick, get on the fish. Yes, I know there's a big old hot spot in the middle across from the starting point but i just can't tell you how to get there because even i find it myself i still have to move the boat around a bunch of times chasing some schools of fish in the deep water trying to find the bass trying to find out how deep they are and by then half the tournament's over before you catch your fish so the quick and easy way that i'll get a win every time is just to head out way to the other side of the map that why they don't have a boat ramp boat launch on the other side well guess what you play some of the other dovetail games and you know what they have multiple boat launches <laughs> but in Bassmaster, there's only one in st john's river so head out all the way to get down to these little three canals i'm gonna fish the second canal right in the beginning and sometimes I work slowly into the canal fishing the middle and both edges of the canal so this is a total length now a lot of people don't like the total length because it doesn't really exist in the real Bassmaster fishing world but just a great competition a fun way to catch all these other fish that they put in the game so you can try to target garfish, but just catch as many fish as you can. So if you see some crappie, switch your load out to that little Ned purple cloud. Catch as many crappie as you can. A bunch of 8 inches will do the trick. That's what she said, guys, right? Alright, let's head out to Sabine River. So I'm going to go to the first hot spot you can get to in Sabine River. Just literally right across from the boat launch. We're going to set up right by these cypress trees where all these cypress knees are sticking out of the water. So remember in the beginning of the video, I showed you the loadout with all the different lures on there. So this is the time to use it, trying to catch as many species as we can. So don't worry if you can't catch all of them because you won't take that many to get the win. Plus, if you catch an 80 pound catfish, your weight is going to be well above if you end up tying with somebody else. So there's plenty of largemouth bass and spotted bass in this location. So you can also use the same hotspot to fish in the Bass Masters Open Series in Sabine River. So this go around only end up catching 9 out of 12 species in Sabine River. That was plenty enough to get the win. So you can take a look at the totals at the end of this little clip and you can see all I needed was 6 or more fish to get the win. So plenty enough with 9. So let's head over to the last spot on the Bassmaster Open Series, so Lake Chick. So you're going to be fishing two tournaments at Lake Chick, a total length in the Bassmasters Open Series. So you can accomplish a win easily at this spot right here. So by now, everybody knows how to get to the boat ramp with big old concrete ramp with the broken down truck on it. So this little spot on the right side is probably my favorite side. So there's a little deep pocket right off the right side of that concrete boat ramp. You can catch plenty of fish here to get your total length but also it's a great spot to fish for bass. So small mouth do rule lake chicks. So you can catch plenty of small mouth and some large mouth bass to easily get a win in the Bass Masters Open. So I appreciate all you guys' comments. So please drop a comment with any questions, any hot spots in St. John's River. Still waiting for somebody to take part in my challenge. I got nobody accepted it so far. So as always, 
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Keep fishing, stay happy, and I'll see you next time.